All right, sports fans, it's football season, and we've got a treat here for you tonight. In studio, the new champs here in the AA division, New Brunswick Senior Football, all the way from Mathieu Martin. Proud to have Phil Long, head coach of the Matadors, along with his team captains here in studio. A big congratulations to all you guys. Successful uh, and a big championship win here this past week at Rocky Stone. Want to get your thoughts and maybe some of your emotions uh, coming off that emotional high here with a big win over Odyssey this past week. It definitely feels good. I mean, it's been a long time coming. Yep. Uh, it's been uh, the last time Matthew Martin won the championship and in the AA division uh, was in 2011. So uh, it definitely feels good to be here. And, um, you know, the, the, guys, the guys put in the work throughout the season. And, you know, the guys the past years have, all, have also grinded out to... Uh, to make sure that we're in a, in a good spot today to be able to celebrate this one. Yeah, you guys have done a lot of great work with the program. Obviously very uh, competitive here this season, uh, but yourself being an alumni mm -hmm. of Matthew Martin, how rewarding was it for you to sort of come back and be able to help these guys, you know, sort of reach their potential and succeed here at the highest level? Yeah, it's a fantastic feeling. I mean, uh, when I played at, at Matthew Martin in uh, 2010, 2011, uh, it's, uh, we unfortunately had the, the, the misfortune of losing in double overtime. Uh, but most of our staff being, being with us today, uh, being able to win this one, it's definitely an, an awesome feeling. And uh, just giving back to the school that, that gave us so much, it's, uh, you can't ask for more. Yeah. So part of that 2011 winning team, that was Bruno Sear, yeah. head coach at the time. Uh, like I said, the program you know, had seen some, some highs. So this is your second championship trophy here mm -hmm. uh, for, uh, for the Matador. You have a AAA one as well right. back in 85. Uh, in the, with the, I guess that was after the Trimble, the, the Trimble wins. But uh, again, you know, a pretty proud tradition of Mathieu Martin with their football program. Uh, you know, what have you guys sort of done to bring it back to prominence here? Yeah, in the, in the school? yeah, absolutely. I mean, in 2018, I got the opportunity to take over the program. Yep. Um, and from there, it was just kind of setting the foundation, foundation setting the values of what we want, establishing the culture that, that we're looking for. And obviously, the message was very clear with the, the first group of guys that we did have. Um, they knew very well that we were going to go through the mud for the first couple of years, yeah. um, but they also knew that the end picture was coming. Yeah. Um, so it was awesome to see finishing up with a, with, with a championship and uh, having a bunch of those guys reach out and, uh, and just celebrate with us that victory. So it's, a, it's, an, it's an awesome feeling for sure. Yeah, uh, like you said, a lot of hard work goes into it. Yeah. Uh, you guys have your own field now as well, I believe, uh, uh, by the school? Yeah, we just got it uh, this, this past year. and We've played a few games on it this year. Yeah. Uh, nothing greater than... Uh, going out in the field, winning a game, and then walking back to your locker room. Yeah. Uh, one thing that really strikes uh, a lot of football fans when they go to the game is the support and uh, the amount of uh, crowd, you know, interaction here with, uh, uh, with the football games, both for Odyssey and yourself. Mm -hmm. You know, very well attended, huge turnout at Rocky Stone, and a lot of school spirit here in the school. How great is it for you guys to sort of be out there performing, working hard in front of, uh, you know, all that support from your school? Yeah, I think it's awesome. I mean, uh, obviously, we're very proud to be, to, to be in the French community, um, and football has definitely evolved over the past couple of years uh, with, with uh, French communities, yeah. um, especially with us, Odyssey, and including Ecole saint Anne in Fredericton. Yeah. Um, you know, we've been you know, steadily, uh, steadily dominating in the last couple of years, so we're extremely proud of that. And it's something that we keep, uh, we're, we're looking to keep going for sure. Yeah. yeah. Well, you know, always a big part of uh, winning, winning teams is having some good players. It, and you got a few of them here in studio with us. So uh, maybe we'll go around the room here and sort of chat and see what, uh, what your guys' thoughts were after this uh, championship season. So we're going to start over here with Gabriel. What, uh, you know, past season, championship game, you know, one score game down to the end, you guys had control. What is the one thing that you're sort of going to remember or take away from that game that you're going to sort of uh, keep with you the rest of your life? Well, I was extremely happy, and I'm sure the team was as well. Um, we worked like hard all season, and it was finally one of our most like, rewarding seasons yeah. um, since for the past years we haven't been the best. But uh, everyone really like chipped in and did their part in the team, and I think just seeing our hard work uh, get put to a to a high end goal, yeah. winning the championship. So I think that was awesome. Yeah. yeah. Always a great reward when you put in the hard work. Uh, you know, very fulfilling to have that pay off for you. You know, always helps to have a good D line here on a championship team too. We got Alec over here. Maybe tell us a little bit about what you know, what got you to play football. Maybe even starting out, and then uh, how rewarding the season was for you. So the first thing, well, when I started football, is actually Dave's dad helped me out, yeah. like playing football with GMFA. Yeah. And uh, I tried out NB after when the coach had told me to try out, and I really improved then and. When I saw Phil coaching me at NB, I was really impressed with the, his work. Yeah. So I decided to play with Phil and yeah, 
pretty good. That paid off. Yeah, <laughs> really good. Yeah, <laughs> yeah and uh, like I said, I saw some of the photos and some of the game film uh, from the championship game. Huge crowd support. You know, a lot of smiles on the faces, you know, for the guys that uh, were, were successful. You know, how, I guess, rewarding was it for you uh, or how exciting is it for you to be able to play in front of such big crowds and get that kind of support from your school? Well, honestly, uh, it was it was amazing. I've been playing uh, with MM since ninth grade, and we obviously have been through the mud and seeing all these athletes, like, going through the program, and, like, it's just, like, crazy all the effort we put in, and I think our win was really deserved. Yep. Yeah, well, like I said, you guys put the work in. So maybe for David, uh, you know, you know, hard to put into words, I guess, you know, the, the, the feeling you get. What was sort of your emotion after the game once, uh, you know, it was a tight game, but, you know, once the final buzzer had rang, what was sort of the feeling or the emotion sort of uh, at midfield there when you guys uh, sort of put the helmets up? I was just really happy to be there, you know, like just grinding all season with my boys. Yeah. Uh, put a lot of work in during the off season with my coaches. Uh, I have Coach Comfort who had uh, online sessions with me yeah. uh, just to like review like the X's and O's of the game. That really helped me out. So I just like to give a big thanks to all the coaching staff. Yeah, so Coach Comfort from the Mustangs helping you out uh, under center. Mm -hmm. Always oh, good to have some uh, some local uh, athletes as well being able to assist with the program. You guys got a pretty good coaching staff here as well uh, under Phil. I know a couple other coaches uh, sort of came back under the fold, you know, Serge Burke, uh, John Diadati. Maybe talk about how much work goes into it behind the scenes and, uh, you know, the, the amount of work your coaching staff puts in. Yeah, no, absolutely. Uh, at the end of the day, we're always looking for quality coaches in anything we do. And uh, <clears throat> for us to have any sort of success on the field, it starts with the preparation that we put in you know, behind the scenes, like you just mentioned. Uh, but it's just uh, finding a way to uh, develop our practice plans to make sure that we get yeah. the most out of it when we get into a game. Uh, so trying to kind of simulate as many real life situations as we can. Um, and then from there, uh, it's just getting the guys ready, giving them a, a live experience in practice uh, to, to what they're potentially gonna see in the game. And yeah. obviously sprinkle in some of what the other team is trying to accomplish and what we're expecting them to do. Uh, but for us, it's focusing on, on, on our values, focusing on our game. Um, and taking advantage of some some of the stuff that uh, they might give us, right? As well, yeah, no, yeah. for sure. Um, you know, you guys, uh, you know, the, the Acadie Bowl, huge sort of uh, Thanksgiving Day game here for, for Mathieu Martin and Odyssey. Uh, Odyssey's got a great program, ton of players in the team, uh, you know, played at a very high level. Was it any extra special sort of competing against your sort of uh, crosstown rival uh, that you compete with uh, every uh, Thanksgiving and, uh, and coming out on top in the, the championship? Yeah, of course. I mean, it's, it's always a, a good feeling to get that, to get, be up, up top on that, in that front. Yeah. Um, but for us, I mean, we come into every game we play against them and we respect what they've done throughout the years. And, you know, just like us uh, a few years ago, they were, they were down and in the yeah. bottom of the league um, and they were able to crawl back up. So for us, we only have respect for them. And uh, at the end of the day, it's just a, a, a healthy competition, if you will, between yeah. the two of us. So it just makes both of us, both of our programs better. Um, and then, you know, uh, the goal is to obviously win, win and dominate. Uh, but it's always nice to see uh, the flip-flop a little bit. And we're going to enjoy this one uh, being on top for a little bit. No, for sure. Like you said, two dominant programs. And that's, yeah. that's the, you know, sort of the encouraging thing is that, you know, both both uh, programs have come up right. and are really at the top of their, their game, right? So uh, great to see both programs flourishing and, and doing great. Um, I know during the regular season, I remember like one of the last games, there may have been an upset there with McNaughton. Did that sort of help you guys sort of refocus or sort of, you know, sort of steer the ship knowing that, uh, you know, we still had some work ahead of us here in playoffs and, and sort of, uh, you know, refocus the, the task at hand here and uh, trying to capture a championship? Yeah, 100%. Yeah. Uh, I mean, for us, it was the first time in a, in a long time that we've had sustained success uh, throughout the, the start of the season. Yep. So, uh, I mean, it, as a team, I don't think we, we understood how to win and how to keep going. So I think we got a little bit of, of over our heads for, for, a, few, uh, for a few weeks. Yep. Uh, but as soon as that McNaughton game hit, uh, you know, it was, uh, it, it was a good feeling nonetheless. It was a very good experience to kind of get, get better and, and, and learn from that experience. And uh, it, we definitely came out uh, the very next Monday, uh, Monday morning, and we got, we got right back <laughs> after it. <laughs> Put the work in. That's the thing. Yeah. Belichick doesn't mind a loss once in a while when, you yeah. know, you got to refocus the team. So, uh, you know, again, Congratulations on all your success. You guys put in the work to get there. Very happy to see you guys come out uh, successful here this past weekend. A great atmosphere at Rocky Stone. You know, hopefully that's something that you guys will remember the rest of your lives yeah. and, uh, and take with you forever. So, uh, you know, a big congratulations to the Matadal here from Mathieu Martin. And uh, all the best uh, next season. Yeah, awesome. Thanks so much, Chris. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks, guys.